I'm here in this small medieval village near Rome to interview Linda Lapin. Linda Lapin is the author of The Etruscan, a mystery novel set in this area in the 1920s. Let's go talk to the author in this beautiful environment. What is your book about? The Etruscan is the story of Harriet Sackett, an American photographer who comes to this area in 1922 to photograph Etruscan tombs for the Theosophical Society. Here she meets a local count, who is really a sort of con man, who claims to be a reincarnated Etruscan spirit. And so though their encounter for Harriet is uh, romantic and will be life-changing, it's not life-changing in a positive sense. Mm. And how did you get the inspiration for your novel? I was living in the area um, and researching its Etruscan sites, um, going for long walks in the countryside and exploring tombs, just like Harriet does in the book. And I was living in an old farmhouse that was full of curious old objects and um, a lot of Etruscan-inspired artworks. So these two things came together to um, help me inspire the main storyline. But there are also literary models for this book. Um, the Etruscan, uh, Sketches of Etruscan Places by D.H. Lawrence, a travelogue about this area. Uh, the literary uh, English Gothic novel. And uh, the Jungian approach to fairy tales, because there is a fairy tale backbone to the main story. I see that your house is full of um, curious objects. <laughs> uh, yes, these are these heads are um, contemporary sculptures made by a local craftsman who lives in Bolzena. Um, and I like to surround myself with these sorts of objects because they I feel they're very expressive of the spirit of place. Um, speaking of the spirit of place, um, I know that you are interested in deep maps. Can you explain what a deep map is and how it relates to your novel? Um, yes, um, a deep map is a personal and subjective stratified representation of a given place that includes not only um, natural features, topographical features, uh, but also cultural ones, including stories and narratives um, so, the Etru in, in the Etruscan, in addition to the main storyline, um, I also included elements drawn from this area's um, superstitions, traditions, uh, festivals, um, religion, folklore, uh, dialect, and even recipes. So, in a way, this could be, um, it could be said that this is my deep map of the area. 